Hello and welcome, my name is Chris from ChristopherHall.com and welcome to part two of this little video on, uh, little series of videos on shin splints. Now in this video, as I said in the last one, we're going to be talking about lateral shin splints. So the one we talked about before is medial. Now medial means on the inside, lateral means on the outside. So as you can see in the description there, often on the outside of the tibia and often found in long distance runners. So on the outside of the tibia, so you can see the little picture on the right hand side, um, you've got the white part which is the tibia, that's the bone that's going down through the shin. And then the red part is the muscle. Now the muscle on the outside of the, um, of the shin is the tibialis anterior. So as you can see here it's compartment syndrome due to the swelling of the tibialis anterior. So that muscle on the outside of the shin bone is starting to swell. Now this results in insufficient amounts of blood and oxygen to that muscle. And what's happening is there's something around the muscle called the fascia. And the fascia restricts the expansion of the muscle. So as you can see underneath, fascia can be likened to pockets for muscles. So if you think of all these muscles you've got, all these different fascia, all different pockets that these muscles sit in. And that fascia is restricting, the um, as the muscle gets warmer and um, uh, more sort of blood and nutrients are being supplied to it, it will swell. Now that fascia is restricting that expansion. So in some ways, it's a condition of the fascia. So what we need to be able to do is very much bring... Um, bring, how can I describe it, bring um, nutrients and oxygen and blood flow to the fascia so it can allow that to open out. Now some very simple ways, much like in the, in the last video, number one, improve biomechanics. So of your running, of your walking, of your your feet, your knees and the whole of your lower leg, improve those biomechanics and in the in the program that I've got on the website I'll talk you through what are the mechanics of the lower leg so you can improve that. The other one is to reduce the intensity so if you are doing long distance running you have just increased the amount of mileage that you're doing it's an idea to reduce that that back because the last thing you want to be doing is running through the pain and that goes for um, um, medial tibial stress syndrome as well. So we want to induce, reduce that intensity and then when we reduce that intensity, what we want to do is we want to start stretching, we want to start self-massaging, and then we can start increasing the intensity a little bit more gradually. So it may um, set your training or set the progression of your training back slightly, but in the long term, you'll be able to keep training much, much more. And that's the kind of idea we're, we're looking at, Christopher Hole Training, is a very much more of a, a long-term approach rather than just these short-term quick fixes. So again, I've got a program um, which much more of a sort of a workshop and PowerPoint presentation scenario to start with. And then it goes into these are the exercises, these are the stretches, this is the self-massaging that you need to do um, in order to, to overcome uh, shin splints, both in lateral and um, and medial. So many thanks uh, for watching. My name is Chris. Uh, click the link in the in the description below, and you'll go straight to the the shin splints page on the website. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I will speak to you in another video.